हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप एवरी थिंग इज गोइंग गुड इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू इवेंट्स ब्लॉक फॉर द इवेंट्स कैलेंडर प्लग इन विच इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई कूल प्लग इन यूजिंग दिस प्लग इन यू कैन डिस्प्ले इवेंट्स इन साइड गुटनबर्ग पेज बिल्डर पेजेज go to your website admin side on the left side bar under plugins click add new now search here plugin name here you can search events events block for the events calendar cool plugins now here you can see plugin is visible now click on install now before active event block for the events calendar plugin make sure the events calendar plugin is active on your website if the events calendar plugin is active on your website then click on activate after active events block for the events calendar plugin under pages click add new here you can add a page title i am adding events list now search here events block here you can see events block is visible click now events are loaded on pages now i am explaining with you how you can change your format how you can show hide a venue and also how you can change your uh, description length etc and also i uh, i am explaining with you how you can style your list according to your choice set colors typography etc on the right side bar of your page you can see here events block settings here you can see uh, select category date format limit the events etc settings also bottom of the page you can see main skin color event day style so i am discuss with you each setting with detail select, select category using this setting you can display a particular category events or if you want to show a more than one category event then you can choose uh, these categories so i am selecting adult category here you can see adult category events are visible here if uh, you want to display a one more category event then you can select this one i am selecting music music category no events are found so i am selecting another one entertainment here you can see adult music entertainment categories events are visible here here you can see uh, uh, select a date format for your events i am selecting mdyt now you can see date format is changed limit the events this setting is uh, used to if you want to dis uh, how much events you can display on your page if you want to display events two events per page then you can set here two now you can see two events are visible on your page again i am selecting 10 so you can see here 10 events per page is visible here events order 
using this setting you can display events ascending or descending order according to event state if you want to display events in descending order then select descending here now you can see events are showing in descending order again i am revert and show in ascending order now you can see events the ascending order is visible here hide venue two different types of option available yes no if you want to hide your venue then set yes now you can see venue is hide here otherwise set no now events venue is visible here display description two different types of option, option available yes no if you want to a uh, hide description then set no now you can see event description is hide i am selecting yes now event description is visible here if you want to show events between two date trains then enable this option now you can now you can see start event panel and end event panel is visible here here you can see this option and show your events in given date range i am selecting 2 april 2022 and 2 october 2022 but this option is working only front end side so we need just publish the page on uh, given date range no event found i am selecting another date range here i am selecting 2021 update now you can see april 2021 events are visible here next setting is events type also this option is work only front end side three different types of option available upcoming past all if you want to display only upcoming events then choose this one now you can see upcoming events are visible here if you want to show past events then select past now you can see past events is visible here if you want to show both past and upcoming events then select all now you can see past events and upcoming events both are visible here next setting is no event text if you want to change no event text message then you can change here now i am discuss with you event style settings and typography settings how you can design your event list in a perfect way so i am selecting main skin color using this setting you can change the skin color here you can see skin color is changed next setting is event date style under this setting you can change the date color also you can change the font size set font family font weight etc settings you can change now i'm choose a font color uh, color for event date i am selecting this one and he font size here you can change the font size for your date i am selecting 
family here you can choose the font family for your date i am selecting this one now you can see font family is changed transform here you can choose a uh, transform up uh, you can capitalize lower case normal etc i am selecting upper case now you can see up, uh, all text is visible in upper case here you can choose a style if you want to increase or decrease line height then also you can use this setting also you can uh, increase decrease letter spacing using this setting next setting is event title style under event title style you can change the title color also you can change the font family weight transform style etc i am selecting this color is for event title here you can see event title color is changed and i am selecting a font size 25 pixel for title family here you can select a family for your event title font weight here you can select a font weight for your title transform i am selecting capitalize here you can see capitalize is visible line height next setting is event menu style i am selecting this color for venues here you can see venue color is changed and font family i am selecting this one now you can see font family is changed also here you can change the line height letter spacing font style decoration etc next setting is event description style under event description style settings you can change the description color font size font family weight transform style decoration etc i am selecting this color for uh, font event description here you can see event description color is changed font size here you can change the font size for your description font family i am selecting this one here you can see font family is changed if you want to change line height then you also you can change here letter spacing you can change here letter spacing next setting is find out more style if you want to style your find out more then you can choose this one setting find out more text if you want to change find out more text then you can change this here now you can see read uh, find out more text is replaced with find out uh, read more here you can select a uh, read more text color now you can see text color is changed font size here you can increase or decrease font size font family and also you can increase decrease line height after all settings are done update page now you can see your event list is look like Thanks for watching this video